Shalom and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pastor Paul, Shofar Maker. And now here I have a uh, semi-polish. That means one side is uh, semi-polish and the other is polished out and the other side is natural. So this is a one new man Yemenai Kudu Shofar video 1048. DSJ means it's double SJ size and now DSJ size is measured anything after 49 inches till 50 inches yeah around, around the external curve of the horn and uh, this is made from a uh, four, 52 inches length horn this has already been cut 2 over inches it's already been cut yeah but it is from a 52 inches kudu horn yeah it's a very uh, large horns nowadays yeah so here i have is that uh, semi polished and uh, it's already pre-drilled yeah to save some time and we are we use the uh, 6.5 mm hss drill bit high speed steel drill bit yeah it's used for the uh, metal industry yeah you can't use a wood drill bit for this type of horn because it is quite a hard uh, material and the wood type of drill bits will start to warp and bend so you need to use a steel yeah made for steel drilling so <coughs> let's have a look at the colors of this uh, semi polish shofar base color is uh, olive cream color base color and uh, the colors goes to dark coffee brown color and different shades of coffee brown color as we see yeah it's a quite it's a it's a long shofar yeah you can see the curl very nice curl a big curl and uh, you see the uh, different shades of the color coffee brown and uh, olive cream color yeah coming out and you see the shades of a maroon purplish colors as well these uh, colors comes out even as when we are sanding down grinding down the uh, surface of the uh, shofar the horn the color starts to come out due to the different layerings of the horn you see the color this the color of the maroon purplish colors very nicely distributed and the coffee brown sheets are also very nicely they are distributed you can see that awesome awesome colors god's creation yeah you can't add any colors to it because this is not a synthetic so far yeah so here the uh, bell already clean up nicely as you can see yeah and on the reverse side which it says natural side let's have a look at it you can see that yeah if we have some better scars here and there because why this animal is a wild animal and in the uh, kingdom yeah the natural kingdom they will start to fight with each other to get the alpha position so a bit of uh, better scars here and there it just shows that that is the character of the animal yeah you see the uh, beauty of the grains there non natural grains awesome colors and here the uh, coffee brown color very beautiful light coffee brown color in this area with the patterns yeah patterns here very nicely done up clean out for you to appreciate yeah we show you that we are a uh, actual craftsman we are not a reseller so you can see that the better scars a bit here and there yeah better scars yeah see that awesome Beautiful.
and uh, the mouthpiece here already pre-drilled with a 6.5 mm high-speed steel drill and uh, before drilling every time I will get the center yeah I will have these sort of lines drawn you see that these are the guidelines for me to drill position my drill through yeah one direction one plane here and the other plane is right at the side you see that yeah, so I've already drilled it so let's hear the sound I'm using a 6.5 mm let's hear the airflow very nice airflow and now I'm going to use the uh, tungsten carbide burr cone shape yeah get it from your DIY shop the uh, woodworking uh, department they say I want a cone shape tungsten carbide burr and then let's see yeah what is the size you can get yeah but uh, my size here diameter at this biggest place is there uh, let me just uh, make sure again yeah it's about a 8 8 uh, mm diameter you can get a nice it's okay it's okay yeah no big deal yeah but uh, as long as you get a cone shape here to cross cut then you will do a lot do well cross cut surface you can see that it's called cross cut yeah double cut it's double cut yeah so let's uh begin to fine tune the sofa has already been done skip away the drill bit the drill and uh, here the uh, cone shape has been done to begin to form the uh, bowl yeah the bowl of a bugle mouthpiece but it's much smaller <coughs> because this is a natural horn we cannot make it as big and make it as big the sound will start to be windy and it will start to uh, break the sound so it must be smaller but yet have the character of the bugle mouthpiece a bowl inside here so we have really done the initial of a cone shape and now we're going to use a uh, <coughs> over over shape tungsten carbide burr yeah over shape see that and it's also a cross cut okay yeah, i can see the surface this is a cross cut yeah so this is maybe on the about the uh, 10 mm uh, uh, length cutting surface and the width is probably about six yeah six mm seven mm yeah as long as you get a uh, oval shape like that it will, it will do well so now i would just like to uh yeah, before I go on safety sick just want to tighten up this uh Tungsten carbide go press it down a bit. Yeah, every time be on the lookout for your equipment, your tools. If, they, if you find that there's a slightly loose or anything like that, worn out, then just change it. Yeah. So here goes. I'm going to enlarge this mouthpiece here. Let's hear the sound. <laughs>
the mouthpiece already been uh, further enlarged. Yeah, further enlarged. Yeah, and uh, I make sure I leave about uh, one mm all around the rim here, the mouthpiece rim, so that it wouldn't uh, cut your lips when you blow it. Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit slightly smaller, but. Uh, it all depends on how you blow it. As long as it doesn't cut your lips, some can be. Some people make it very thin. Some cops may you make it thin, and then it tends to cut your lips when you blow it. Yeah. So now after been uh, making the cup of the shofar, I would like, really like to hear the sound again. size uh, close to a 50 inches so far yeah so and it's this this horn is made from a 42 inches length kudu horn so now after doing that i would like to just uh, heat it up heat up the uh, horn and mouthpiece there and start to enlarge it with a customized plumb bob yeah with a bolt attached This a uh, hot gun, industrial hot gun. It goes up to about 650, 600, 650 degrees Celsius. Hot enough, but still need to be a bit hotter. This to make the horn malleable for me to form the uh, mouthpiece with a flare. Yep, begins to the horn begins to give more malleable now. Enough yet. by experience that you know that the uh, horn will give soft enough you know, when you apply the pressure yeah this one Even all around. Okay, should be there. Okay, can you see the flare? Yeah, this is called call the flare. Yeah, it opens up, opens up, yeah. 
Okay, let's hear the sound of this particular. I believe it's the final, final uh, stage of the fine tuning. Let's hear the sound and we'll know. Still a bit hot. Just uh, let it cool down a bit. More piece here is a bit hot. Okay. Tune to get a low G tone there. So I'll just deepen the cup of this uh, mouthpiece here and get the airflow, more wholesome airflow flowing. Let's hear the rest of the tone. How many tone we can get from this so far? Awesome grooming tone. Tone number one, low G. Now we go for C, G, C, high C, and E. Count with me. G, high C, and E. Yeah. Six tone. Yeah. So you have six tone with the count again. Low G, C, middle G, C. E and a high G. Wow, a six tone shofar. So let's hear the running notes of this uh, shofar. you've seen and uh, see me tuning the shofar give us a like on this video 1048 double super j yeah dsj double super j size the range and uh, it is a uh, crafted from a 52 inch uh, length shofar measure around the external curve it means this place here when it goes sharp we we'll cut it back to able to get that surface to form the mouthpiece yeah 
So this is a uh, after a 49 going to a 50 inches completed double SJ sofa. So give us a like on it. We love really love to see your encouragement by giving us likes on this video. Let me see it's a long sofa. Yeah, a long sofa. And uh, subscribe. Remember to subscribe by giving us like. You can encourage me especially to continue to fine tune sofas before you, for you to hear, for you to decide. Yeah, as what you see, what you hear is what you get. Yeah. So this sofa is a <coughs> awesome sofa. You can hear, and also share, <coughs> subscribe. If you have not subscribed for constant updates of sofas that we post and share with your network of friends. They, they will also be encouraged to get show fast yeah, by seeing and choosing from a YouTube channel and also building up and adding on to the army of Shofar Blowers announcing that he is king of kings and lord of lords so by doing so also you encourage us because uh, you help us to increase our subscriber base and we say thank you very much for watching God bless you all and Shalom.